Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Leo, today we're going to do a general love reading. Let's talk about you, Leo. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Let's see what up with the Leo Collective and the Department of Love. We have hands of cards. Ooh, we got a wrist being strategic, not showing hands. Here in Lady Gaga poker face here. We got some gambling, some risk taking. Let's talk. Let's see what it all means. Let's get down to business, Leo. Spirit guides, talk to us. What up with the Leo Collective? Well, 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 we start this with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And the lovers. Well, those are the cards you want to see in a love reading. All right. Let's see who this person is. What's going on? And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. You could be dealing with the Gemini. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse, though, okay? Could be dealing with the Capricorn here with the Devil. Let's see what's going on. There's a little bit of, well, could be lust, could be obsession, could be addiction. Could simply, you're just dealing with the Capricorn. Whoa, no, the Devil and the Ace of Wands is lust. Ooh, there's some lusting here. And there's a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords in reverse. Peace. We're coming peace. <laughs> it's under that Five of Swords. The sun. Okay, let's talk about it. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. So I do feel we've tapped into a Leo Collective. Either you're in a relationship or you're about to be in a relationship with this person. There's a lot of a lot of physical desire. Uh, what do you want to say about this Ten of Pentacles here? Magician, it is something. Okay, something new, something fresh. Could be with the Gemini after being left out here. There's Page of Pentacles. Temperance, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. And there's the Knight of Pentacles. So um, I think we have a slow burner, slow relationship, slow moving. So you may have already met this person, Leo, or you're about to meet this person, and they have relationship material stamped all over their forehead. Um, you see a lot of potential. However, the Five of Pentacles is there. Why? The Lovers, Queen of Wands. What are you thinking about? An ending from the past, the Hierophant. You're wondering if you're ready or want a relationship. So I believe you've met someone here who's looking for a connection and a relationship. Um, and, and the question is, Leo, are you ready for one? Do you want one? I know you're very attracted to this person. Uh, but physical attraction, you know, it don't take you so far. It doesn't create a successful connection. So I think you're trying to bond here. What do you want to say about the lover's energy here for Leo? Yeah, exactly what you're doing. So you've met someone here that, you know, you can see yourself waking up to every morning. Um, but you're worried. That's the second time that you're worried. So something, maybe you haven't been single for that long. Maybe you're still, you know, working through some feelings from the past. But the, you're worried about it. Why? For the hermit. You're withdrawn here. The judgment, the fool, and the ace of wands. You're wondering if it's just physical. Okay. So you're, on a physical level, this person's like a certified 20 or a dime. Um, or they think you are. Um, and you're wondering if there's more than just that. So what I see is actually a Leo collective here holding back. Uh, there is no naughty time. There is no love. There is no lust here because you want to make sure that this is something that you want. That's more than that and what they want. The Ten of Wands in reverse is setting boundaries. So I think you've set some boundaries. You popped on the chastity belt. You've locked it up and they're not getting into it until there's an emotional connection here, Leo. So you're setting some boundaries. It's like almost saying if you want to, you know, no, no, uh, you got to be committed to me. You're not going to get there. You are not. You ain't sliding to home base unless there's a commitment in your energy kind of energy here, Leo. Uh, nobody's going to see you naked <laughs> unless they're committed. Um, so I feel you trying to, I feel you holding back here, but I feel like, you know, something's going to burst. You're pretty excited, pretty, you want this person, but not until there's something more than just physical. So you meet someone new here, Leo. There's a lot of desire, uh, but you've put your foot down. You've set your healthy boundaries here. You're going to get to know this person, and they're going to have to date you and get to know you before there's any home, home, home runs being hit here. What else you want to say about that King of Cups uh, for Leo? That fell on the floor. One moment. Judgment. Yeah, you made it very clear. What's this? Because you might have been through this before. Okay. So you might have been before where you might have been intimate too soon or met someone who just wanted, you know, casual FWB. And so you're just making it clear what your boundaries are and you're not really putting up with that. So uh, right now I see someone you want, but you're not wanting them. You're trying to get to know them. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot and we'll see how you guys are doing in a month here, Leo. What's the care and connection? Guilt. Don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. Okay. Okay. And what does Leo need to surrender to when it comes to this newbie, this new person, this new love? Talk to us. What does Leo need to surrender to? 
You need to always be right. So give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help to resolve conflicts and it will improve your relationship. All right, so I don't want to get like the lovers uh, oracles because I don't feel it's something new. So it's not really any hidden truth. So let's describe the spirit animal and we'll get to your outcome here, Leo. What's the spirit animal message for Leo? We have endurance, the badger. I love the badger. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith will be paying off. Note that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that's best for you. And we have the hawk, spirituality. Fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts and observe them from a bird's eye view. Quieting the mind and detaching from your thought patterns puts you in a better position to take messages from your spirit guides. Okay, Leo, let's just do it. Let's get down to it. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You go make the decisions you're going to make here, Leo. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things progress. Let's see how things are. Well, let's just see how you're doing. Okay. That page of swords there. You got the nine of swords in reverse. Okay. All right. Two more here. Two more. Where's Leo and this person? How's Leo doing? The Hierophant. Strength. And the moon. Wow. And there's judgment. Okay. So you're letting go of the past. There's the Two of Swords, though. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Nine of Wands. Um, you're moving towards a commitment with this person, towards a relationship. You're letting go of the past. The Nine of Swords in reverse is an energy of needing to let go of old ideas, old belief systems, um, old thought patterns. So it's just an energy of talking to this person, getting to know this person, and letting go of any old ideologies, thought patterns. They're not the past, and they're not just looking for a uh, naughty time here. I do see you moving towards a relationship. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, I still see you holding back. We still got the strength in the moon. So um, I do feel that you're holding back a little bit. You're not completely, um, you're not telling this person how deep your feelings are. I think you fell pretty hard here, Leo. Um, but I don't think you're, you're not telling this person. Like if you're in love, you definitely haven't told this person you're falling in love. I don't even know if you've, you've done the, the, you know, home run hit. No one's hitting a home run here. I don't even think in a month. Um, but if you have... You're in a relationship. So you're moving towards this. You've realized that there's a really strong bond, but there is still a blockage and some holding back. So you're not being completely honest. You have, and it takes time to completely be vulnerable and let somebody know those parts of you. Um, and I see you taking the time to do that. You're still getting to know them, but you either are committed or moving towards the relationship. This will be a person who's in your life for a hot minute here, Leo. Um, but you're still getting to know them and you haven't told them everything about you. Okay, that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. <laughs> so Leo, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do have such a like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Leo. I always appreciate your support. Truly, truly, I do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What is the answer for Leo? You're having a laugh. Okay. Why are you asking me? <laughs> one, one more. Ask again. We got no answer. Give a little chuckle. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. That's what I have, Leo. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.